Greetings folks, Dan Mac here, looking at you to the Shred Shack. It's been a long time since I've broken out a solo review, but this album here is worth breaking the hiatus. Today we're talking about Winter Calling's sophomore album, Faces. Florida, Winter Calling were formed in 2013 by Wayne Holful and Ian Medhurst. The former being an established film score composer and the latter having a history in touring with John Wesley, who some may know from his decade-long association with Porcupine Tree. With bassist Tim Gilbreth to round out the instrumental lineup, the band's music ranges from somber to aggressive and ethereal to frenetic. This variety makes their music engaging for the most part, blending several elements synonymous with progressive metal in measures that, at some points, prove almost mainstream friendly. However, there's far more depth per song here than there are in hours worth of radio tunes, and one of the strongest contributory elements to this band are the vocals of Chris Hodges, which astutely complements the nuances of each song with an emotional intensity that rarely abates. I've loosely described this to the rest of the Shred Shack as if the late Chester Bennington fronted a less heavy Evergrey, and even that is understating the band's style. Disorder opens the album with a fleeting sense of solemnity, starting with a small string section and discomforting pulsation, only built upon by the mounting sense of urgency brought about with the introduction of the vocals and primary instruments. The song wavers to its climax, where the choruses and solo demonstrate the band's aforementioned propensity for emotional intensity. I'm often wanting to see artists should start an album firing on all cylinders, and while Winter Colin doesn't exactly come out of the gate kicking and screaming, they do present much of what will be the album's strongest points. The point in which I went all in on this release is the following section. Which immediately triggered that cold chill I've mentioned several times in past reviews. The change comes so suddenly, and the vocal performance is captivating as well as provocative of the album's thematics, which I'll discuss later. The handful of songs that follow include Not Like You, The Tower, and Truth From A Lie, which largely kick up the pace, increase the heaviness, and particularly with The Tower, indulge the listener with an ambience of cinematic sound. The versatility of Hodge's vocals are elaborated upon as these tracks progress, showcasing the melodic and raw sides to his delivery. It's no secret that vocals are a major selling point for me with any band, and Winter Calling employs everything at their disposal to make their music alluring. I am alive and I'm sticking to it. A younger life and I need it to be self-described. Self In the midst of these songs is one of the album's highlights. Not unlike Disorder before it, the majority of Follow Me Down creates a more somber atmosphere that repeatedly devolves into disconcertment, but the explosive stomp of the chorus allows for a slightly more impactful song than the album opener. It's not surprising that you came, no more innocence your name, it's a vulpin, bullshit game that we... Unfortunately, Faces is not a perfect album. It really hits its stride with Follow Me Down, and then takes a large tumble two tracks later on Still Hold On, which, for me, really fails to click with the rest of the album. Although the album does recover from the disruption of pacing, my first few listens were marred by this song. After a while, I just started skipping over it in favor of the far superior tracks that follow. One of the album's greatest strengths is its lyrical content, as it tends to heavily rely on the topic of mental health, so much so that I actually question whether or not some or all of the tracks are tied together by a singular story. Upon receiving this release for review consideration, or more specifically after receiving links to the music videos the band filmed for Not Like You, Follow Me Down, and A New Me, A Few Me, I was provided with more specific descriptions of the intentions behind each. Considering my personal background in psychology, what initially caught my attention were the descriptions of Not Like You and A New Me, A Few Me 
wherein the condition of experiencing multiple personalities was accurately attributed to dissociative identity disorder and not schizophrenia as commonly done. Step aside now. Let me take control. Stop. Step aside now. This revelation spurred me to reevaluate the album, especially the closing trio of songs, as they, in succession, demonstrate the band at their most raw and heavy, most vulnerable, and collective best. While the video for Not Like You is almost exclusively a performance video and therefore does little to enhance the story intended by the lyrics, and the video for Follow Me Down offers a metaphorical depiction of an individual's descent into drug abuse, the video for A New Me, A Few Me is the most provocative, and considering its depiction of a woman developing dissociative identity disorder as a means of coping with a life of sexual abuse is rather disturbing. The songs are less so stories about people suffering from illness, and more so about trying to view the world from their point of view, which further allows one to appreciate the shift in tone that the album takes towards its conclusion, starting with the downright beautiful A Different Tune. Maybe you will not need to be here Maybe I can fix these broken fears Musically, My Own Way bookends the album, starting off grandiose and foreboding with an excellent finger-tapping solo before achieving balance and ultimately mirroring the album's opening moments. As a result, my comments earlier about coming out, kicking, and screaming are done away with after considering the album as a whole. From ashes to ashes. Lyrically, however, the song is empowering, offering a sense of hope to those afflicted with mental disorders. Broadening the context of the lyrics, it presents the notion that such pain is temporary and one is capable of regaining control over his or her life, which is a powerful statement to say the least, though arguably unrealistic for many. Regardless, it caps off an album that otherwise shines light on the hardships associated with mental illness that often go ignored. Now, I stated before that the phrase progressive in terms of music has kind of become a catch-all. Winter Calling is not for fans of noodling virtuosity and crazy time signatures, nor is it for those who like keyboard-heavy melody factories. Instead, Winter Calling is more about the atmosphere, with the gravity of their lyrical topicality running parallel to the poignancy of their music. In many ways, this gives them an edge over some of their contemporaries as it makes them more accessible beyond the standard progressive metal crowd, and in the long run, this will absolutely be to their benefit. With the exception of Still Hold On, I highly suggest giving Faces at least one solid listen. So those are my thoughts on Faces by Winter Calling. If you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments below or on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash theshredshack. Until next time, I'm Dan Mack, and I bid you adieu.